Um, hello, Donovan. Thank you very much for meeting with me today. Um, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your lifestyle mm -hmm. and um, your home. Um, tell me a little bit about your home. Well, let's see. I live way out in the middle of the woods, off the grid. Well, what I'm using for elect electricity is a solar panel on the roof, which is about a like a 100 watt panel. And what that does is converts the sun's energy into electricity, which goes down through a couple wires into my batteries, which act as storage for the sun's energy. And then when I need it, I just flick a switch, like anybody else does, and it converts that electricity stored in the batteries, goes through an inverter, which converts it from the 12 volts that the batteries are at into 120 volts, which you use for your regular house. And that's how I used to power my TV and my lights and my well and everything else I use. Works quite well. I don't have power lines or... And I live on batteries and solar panels and inverters and... I use as little energy as possible because I have little coming in, so it's a balance I between use the generator, what charge I have, and what little I use, so I use as little as possible. Solar mostly, but when I have to, when the sun doesn't shine, I'm a very conservative type of person, and I don't like wasting anything, I like conserving energy, and I like the idea of making what energy I use and not relying on somebody else to have to provide that and split and stack and only your own fire. And I enjoy wood. nature and of course home. living off in the woods you have a lot of responsibilities like taking care of yourself which involves providing all your own heat and cutting and enjoying life pretty much. So that's one of the reasons I live out there is because I love wildlife. And there's lots of it, and you name it. There's bear and deer and moose and fisher and fox and everything in between. But you have a lot of great views out there too. Yep, yep. There's lots of mountains and I'm up on a hill. Some of the sunrises I've seen just defy explanation. They're beautiful. Their words can't describe them. You'd have to see it. Do you have any animals yourself? I have two wonderful dogs, Sadie and Lady. Great companions and love the outdoors too. I have some chickens. Usually about a dozen, give or take two or three. Have you named any of them? No, I have not. Except for one that's been there quite a while. It's been the dominant chicken. And that one's name is Chicken. <laughs> Alright, well, this is my house. And it's off the grid. That means that uh, I don't have any power lines going here. And I make do by other means. And one of them is... A generator, how oh, bad. <clears throat> and it's the generator right there. Yep, and that's what I use to charge batteries and power high uh, current, high wattage items like microwaves and the well pump. And back here is the inverter system and that is a battery and an inverter which takes the 12 volts and converts it to 120 volts and that comes out and goes to a power strip and everything in the house is powered off that and that's it and as far as everything else goes like hot water 
is heated by this, which is an on-demand hot water heater. When you turn on the faucet, it starts automatically and heats your water. And it doesn't have to store it and heat it and waste energy, so it's very efficient. All I have to do is flick a switch and push a button and my generator starts up and we're ready to microwave. If I want to, like if I want to go away and then shut the lights off, I have a remote control which turns on and off my lights. Actually, my whole power. So that's really handy.